started the uh, process in 2009, uh, built the building that's actually right behind me uh, as the first stage, and then we had an expansion in 2014 and built uh, actually about tripled the capacity. We went from two tons a day to being able to handle six tons a day. Well, the Ohio University's 35-point sustainability plan takes a holistic look at sustainability, looking at social, environmental, and economic benefits to sustainability. The uh, high priority in the sustainability plan is the reduction of our solid waste the university produces. Landfilled waste provides very little value to the university or the community. Recyclable and compostable waste uh, does still have value. Uh, recyclables can be reused or those products can be made into something, something new. Uh, and compostable waste, the food waste, has uh, organic nutrients that can be useful. We process right around uh, five to six hundred tons of food waste and bulking agent um, every year. Uh, they come from all the dining halls uh, and the central food facility here at Ohio University. Uh, we use it throughout campus, uh, typically as a soil amendment. Um, so we use it in places like the uh, intramural athletic fields, uh, front lawns, back lawns, um, flower beds and areas like that. By having the facility here, as well as uh, uh, discussing aspects of uh, composting in our dining halls and in Baker Center West 82, we're able to educate our community about waste and about some of the value in waste and the, the important value of reducing what we have to landfill. So we have been working on developing a composting program at the University of Kentucky. You know, my history with this place goes back to early 2000s. I've known Ed Newman for forever, and Ed was instrumental in helping get Ohio University's composting program off the ground. So I knew about it and then read somewhere that it was one of the largest on a university campus in the country. And said, that's not too far away. Let's take a team up there and see what they're doing. The Invessel systems that are here, um, are the next route that we're going to do a feasibility analysis on. So we wanted to come up and see them and smell them and um, really get a sense for what we'd be getting ourselves into. Mm -hmm.